Guys, it's time for some brass for the Red Cat Gen 9. I've got all of it. I've got the portal covers and the knuckles from Trill. These are going on. Let's get to that table. Check them out, guys. Very nice. If you're just putting these on, just simply transfer your bearings and bolt them on. Six bolts in the front. Simple and easy. That would be those bolts right there. 1.5 millimeter hex. We'll take them right off. With just the covers, it's the same thing at both ends. Simple, quick, and easy. No kidding, these went on in about four minutes. Here are the brass knuckles and brass weight for the front, and you get all the hardware with it. Very nice, Trill. It's as simple as just taking it apart. Take pictures, do what you gotta do. Nice, simple, and easy. There are your bearings. Transfer those to the new parts right here, and you're good to go. And there we go. Simple, clean install. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done so we can get outside. Now this is one of those obstacles, the gatekeeper. This thing has never stood a chance on getting this one. Like not even a little bit. It still might not, it still, it still might not stand a chance at getting it. Let's see. Um... <laughs> I still don't think it's gonna get this one. This is a pretty serious little climb here. If I can get the front to drop down into there, maybe. I mean, it's a lot more stable on it than what it was before. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna to try to give it some throttle. Well, I gotta get the back bumper loose now. There we go. Let's see if I can give it a little bit of throttle and see if I can somehow get up on this. This might not end well. No! I was right. It did not end well at all. That's better. So far, so good on the brass. It has made a difference so far. I'm impressed. It should help keep everything planted. I still have that sway bar on the back. So the front's gonna be obviously, you know, uh, doing quite a bit more articulation than the back. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Tires are conforming because, oh, well, they got a little more weight to them. I mean, granted, they were conforming before, you know, but still, you add a little more weight on a tire, it's going to conform or possibly start rolling like that. Yeah. All right. Looking good. Ooh. Looking well planted. Let's check some side hill in real quick. I'm gonna bring it over right through here. All right, looking good, looking good. That's a good shot right there. I doubt I'm gonna be able to make the side hill, but 
it should be better on the side hills, right? Now these tires are really good. It's just, if it's gonna be a sticky area, they're gonna gum up. If it actually gets this right here, I'll be seriously impressed. Cause this is a heck of a lean for a trail truck. If I can get around here and show you guys a little bit about it here. I mean, down back corner loves to roll things over. It's stable though. I can get that front to get right up on there. This is impressive. That little bit of brass really made a lot of difference. Oh no, oh, almost made it. But still, I'm impressed at how far it got. One more steep climb for this thing. I mean, it's picking up the front, but it is better. It absolutely is. All right, I'm gonna do something else stupid. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I'm gonna do up on here though. I mean, I really don't think there's anywhere for me to go. Ugh. Ugh. I can't even get out of it. Those full size bumpers are getting me. There's no way to get over here and complete this line, is there? That would be, I think I'm getting close to needing some foams on this thing. Well guys, I can honestly say I saw and felt a difference with the brass. It actually legit did help. A lot of times you do a mod and the mod doesn't really do anything at all, but oh, it, it does something, right? Because I paid for it and it's modified. Well, this right here, I actually saw a bit of a difference. So, and it was a positive difference. Hopefully you guys saw what I saw. Like with the tires not lifting up as much and seemed better planted. But it did get the roll pretty crazy right there. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys saw what I saw because uh, I think the brass legit helped this out. Now down below, I'm going to link the brass on Amazon, which is where I ordered this from. And then also, um, I don't have any stuff for this, but check out XOKGRC.com. I got all kinds of Vidavon on there, guys. Check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You know what? I'll see you in the morning. Later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.